Ohai Miami The city located on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean in the southeast of Florida in the District of Miami did the most inhabited district in the state of Florida and the eighth most populated in the United States of America with the population in 2,500,625 people. The 43rd largest city in the United States with the population in 433,136 people. It is the second largest. After Jacksonville. The city in Florida and the biggest megalopolis in the southeast of Shaw. Where's the width of the United Nations of Miami was a deal in number of inhabitants city agglomeration in the USA and when the hundred with the population and four million nine hundred nineteen thousand thirty six people and then when the O eight that number increased to five million two hundred thirty two thousand three hundred forty two that is Miami by the fourth largest agglomeration of the country of New York, Los Angeles and Chicago. Miami officially received the status of the city on July 28, 1896, at the time several hundreds of people lived in him. In 1940 in the city there were already about 172,000 people. According to a population census of 2000 in the city there lived more than 362,000 people and if to consider with suburbs, then 5.4 million people. In the center to Miami and the southern Florida, the highest concentration of the international banks in the United States is located. Here too there is headquarters of many large companies of national and international level. History In 1896 about 400 people voted to provide Miami the status of the city. The historic district of Miami in the lower part of the city, the biggest historic district, with buildings of 1896-1939 in the center of the downtown. Before appearance of Europeans, the area in which Miami is located now was inhabited by the Indian tribe of the Tecust living on the most part of the southeast of the peninsula, including territory of the modern districts of Miami-Dade, Broward and the southern part of the district Palm Beach. The tribe was engaged in fishery, hunting and collecting of wild fruit and roots, however never practiced agriculture. The Spanish conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon who in 1513 came to the Gulf Biscayne was the first European who visited this territory. His records demonstrate that he visited Czech West. That became the first name Miami. Currently it is precisely unknown whether De Leon was put ashore and whether met locals. The small tribe Mai from which later there was a name of the city lived in the same places to the middle of the 18th century. Pedro Menendez de Aviles who with the team in 1566 visited the settlement of Tagvesta in search of the sun shipwrecked in these regions in a year before became the first authentically famous white person who landed on this coast. The first constant European settlements in the southern part of Florida appeared at the beginning of the 1800 years. People arrived from the Bahamas in search of treasures of the ships which ran aground in waters of the Big Florida Reef. Some of them lodged on the Spanish possession along the river of Miami. Approximately in the same time in these territories Indians of the tribe of Seminole appeared among which there were also runaway black slaves. As a result of the conflicts the so-called Second Seminolsky War ran high in which the Major William Harney headed several expeditions for replacement of Indians. 
war became one of the most devastating in the American history as a result of which the Indian population of the District of Miami was almost completely exterminated. After the end of the Second Seminolsky War in 1842, William English restored the colony on banks of the River of Miami founded by his uncle. He plotted Village of Miami on the southern river bank and sold several grounds. In 1844 the town became the main settlement of the district, and six years later polls showed that here 96 inhabitants live. The Third Seminolsky War, 1855-1858 wasn't as destructive as the second, however it slowed down development of settlements in the southeast of Florida. By the end of war only several soldiers lived there. In 1891 the wealthy woman by the name of Julia Tuttle of Cleveland, Ohio bought up a huge plantation of a citrus, having expanded the small ground which got to her in inheritance from the father. Thus the territory of her new possession began to make about 640 acres. Even before events in 1886, her husband died, and it decided to move to Florida for the sake of health of the children. Tuttle tried to persuade to prolong the railway magnate Henry Flagler his Florida Coastal Railroad up to Miami, but was refused. In the winter of 1894, Florida worried several extraordinary cold days, and practically all harvest of a citrus as a result was destroyed. The district of Miami was the only area which didn't suffer from frosts, and the plantation tussle turned out only whose fruit could get on the American market. Tuttle addressed Flagler again, and it made the decision to stretch a branch line to Miami and to construct their resort hotel. On April 7, 1896 the road was constructed, and already on April 13 in Miami there arrived the first train with Fragler on board. The first regular railway communication with Miami was opened on April 15, 1896. On July 28, 1896, as a result of vote at a unifying meeting it was accepted to give Miami the status of the city. All males living in Miami and the District of Deed had the right to vote. After the affirmative decision steps on promotion of town council were taken, the official name, the City of Miami, is given and city borders are defined. 444 persons became the first residents of Miami. Up to the beginning of World War II the city grew at astronomical rates. In 1900 in the city lived 1681, in 1910, 5471, in 1920, 29571, in 1930, 110,637 people. Because to the west from Miami boggy territories Everglades lay, since 1906 several canals for drainage of excessively humidified area were built. In the early 20s the authorities resolved gamblings in the city and ceased to pay attention to the prohibition existing during this period in the USA, and as a result of it thousands of immigrants from a northern part of the country began to gather in the city. However, the destructive hurricane which blew over Miami in 1926 and claimed the lives of 373 people suddenly stopped rapid growth of the population of the city. From 25 to 50,000 people became homeless as a result of action of elements. Besides, at the time of the Great Depression of 16,000 people near Miami lost earnings, having lost work.
on February 15, 1933 in the Bayfront Park. In Miami on the elected United States President Franklin Delano Roosevelt delivering a speech attempt was made. Shooting with the gun there was the Italian anarchist Giuseppe Zangara. As a result of an incident the mayor of Chicago Anton Chermak who was near the president was killed. And four more persons are wounded but the president didn't suffer. Zangara was right there arrested and later is executed. By the beginning of the 1940th years the city gradually recovered from the Great Depression, but World War II began here. And like other cities of Florida, the financial damage from the beginning of war not so strongly touched Miami. In the south of Florida, about 500,000 servicemen of the private and 50,000 officers staged drills. Many of them upon termination of war lodged in Miami that caused sharp increase in population to nearly a quarter of one million by 1950. After overthrow of the Cuban president Fulgencio Batista and Saldivar as a result of the Cuban Revolution of 1959 and coming to power of Fidel Castro, many Cubans living in Miami returned home. However, soon after that the situation changed and many residents of Cuba of the middle class began to immigrate in Miami. Only in 1965 about card Cubans issued air tickets on flights from Havana to Miami. By the end of the 1968 years already more than card Cuban refugees located in the district of Miami did. In December 1979 in Miami there were some of the most Massachusetts ethnic disorders in the history of the USA. Business began with the fact that the black American violated rules of speed on the route and died, running away from the police officer on the motorcycle. Though the police official report indicated that the person broke to death, results of examination of pathologists and the certificate of other witnesses showed that the motorcyclist was killed to death by the police officer. As a result of the flashed ethnic disorders of 10 Afro-Americans and 8 representatives of the white population died, 850 people were arrested. The damage was about $1 million. In 1980, as a result of a Massachusetts outcome of the Cuban population in Miami, which received the name Mario Boatlift, to the city about card new Cuban immigrants moved. Unlike the previous waves in the 1968 years, this time the most part of refugees belonged to poor segments of the population. With Massachusetts' arrival of immigrants at the same time the city the local white inhabitants who were carrying themselves to the middle class and not speaking Spanish began to leave. If in 1960 white not, the Spanish-speaking population made 90% of all population of the city, then by 1990 this percent fell to less than 12%. Also in the 1980s years in the city the flow of immigrants and from other countries of the region, such as Haiti, increased. In the city around crossing of 2nd Avenue and 54th Street, the whole region of concentration of the Haitian population which received the name Small Haiti was formed. In the 1990s on streets there were inscriptions written in Haitian language. This language along with official English and Spanish began to be used in ballots. One more wave of the Cuban immigration happened in 1994. Being afraid of the further uncontrollable growth of immigration, the administration of the American President Bill Clinton announced a significant change in immigration policy of the USA. 
it was declared that the Cubans found in territorial waters of the USA instead of the American territory will be redirected by patrol boats on Guantanamo Basin to Panama. Since summer of 1994, only for the first eight months period in the sea more than three zero 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 Cubans and two zero 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 Haitians were intercepted. The Hurricane Andrew Blown over the district of Miami-Dade in 1992, became the second among the most destructive hurricanes in the history of the USA. The damage caused to them was more than 45 billion US dollars, it claimed the lives of 65 people. In 2017 the Hurricane Irma flooded the center of Miami and left the most part of the city without electricity, having torn off more than 80% of all high voltage wires. Economy Brickell Avenue, the place of the highest concentration of the international banks in the USA. Obviously in 2006. The list of the highest buildings of Miami in Miami became the embodiment of the popular term, Manhattanization. In the port of Miami the biggest cruise liners in the world and also the main offices of many big cruise companies of the world are based. Capital of Finance and Business Miami, one of the most important financial centers in the USA. It is the large center of commerce, finance and big transnational business groups. According to the rating of the cities of the world made by Globalization and World Cities Study Group and Network. Go. In whom the number of global corporations in services sector is taken as a basis Miami is recognized as the global city like Alpha. Miami recognized as the 20th city of the world on DDD indicator, and the 11th in the United States. Some big corporations are based in Miami or its district, including Eckerman Center for Linwer, Architectonic, Aeroair, Bacardi, Benihana, Brightstar Corporation, Burger King, Celebrity Cruises, Carnival Corporation, Carnival Cruise Lines, Comp USA, Crispin Porter, Bugusti, Duany Plato Zyberg and Company, Espirito Santa Financial Group, FISBA, Com, Greenberg Trorip, Holland and Knight, Inc., Tel Direct, Interval International, Lena, Navarro Discount Pharmacies. Because of proximity of Latin America, in Miami the main offices of the Latin American departments of more than 1400 multinational corporations are located, including AIG, American Airlines, Cisco, Disney, Exxon, FedEx, Kraft Foods, Leo Pharma Americas, Microsoft, Yahoo, Oracle, SB Communications, Sony, Symantec, Visa International, and Walmart. Here the headquarters of the company Rider System Inc. is located. Once being in the lead on ranges of services in the sphere of lease of trucks. Miami, the main television center for Spanish language television. In the city the main offices of such companies as Univision, Telemundo and Telefutura and also their production studios are placed. Telemundo Television Studios makes the majority of original programs for Telemundo, for example, of a TV series and a talk show. In 2011, 85% of original programs of Telemundo were removed in Miami. In Miami such record companies as Sony Music Latin, Universal Music Latin Entertainment, and a number of smaller are also located. The city also attracts a great number of actors to shootings of music videos and movies. Construction and Real Estate In 2001 in Miami the construction boom, the biggest since a construction boom of the 20th years of the last century began. More than 100 skyscrapers higher than 122M are designed, about 50 are constructed at the moment. 
However, in 2007, the real estate market failed that caused a large number of losses of the rights for the real estate and significant reduction of prices which were restored later and by the end of 2014 exceeded pre-crisis values. The panorama of Miami is recognized as the third among the most impressive types in the USA, after New York and Chicago, and the 19th place in the world according to the Almanac of Architecture and Design. At the moment in the city of eight highest skyscrapers of the state of Florida, from the highest 240M. Four Seasons Hotel. Seasons. Rapid growth of skyscrapers caused growth of population of suburbs, generally in downtown, Brickell and Edgewater. The Miami area is recognized as the eighth in the USA on the number of suburbs. In 2011, the Forbes magazine called Miami the second of the worst cities in the USA because of his large number of debts on the real estate and placed in 10 on a corruption indicator among officials. The International Airport of Miami and the Port of Miami, some of the most loaded ports in the country, mainly because of freights from South America and the Caribbean islands. The Port of Miami, one of the most loaded seaports in the world, and the airport is the most loaded in the state of Florida and also the biggest gate from the USA to Latin America. Also in the city the biggest congestion of the international banks in the country, in the main Brickell Avenue in Brickell, the financial district of Miami. Many banks have the offices and in the downtown suburb, for example Espirito Santo Financial Group at which the main office in the USA is in Miami. In Miami Free Trade Area of the Americas negotiations in 2003 were also held. As of 2011, the Port of Miami contains car jobs and has annual economic circulation in $18 billion. He is the 11th among all cargo ports of the USA. Also in 2010-4, 33 million passengers who used services of this port were registered. One of seven all-round-the-world cruises begins in Miami. Tourism The city administrative center of Miami takes the second place in the USA on concentration of medical and scientific constructions. The developing center of biotechnologies in Miami is here too located. Tourism is also an important part of economy of Miami. The set financial and business institutions, beaches, conferences, festivals and actions attracts more than 38 million visitors who are annually spending more than $17 billion to the city. The area Miami Beach in the southern part of the city is known as one of the most glamour places in the world because of the nightclubs, beaches, historical buildings and shops. Annual actions such as Miami Masters, Art Basel, Winter Music Conference, South Beach Wine and Food Festival and Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Miami attract millions of visitors every year. In Miami, the National Center of a Research of Hurricanes and the main office of the Southern Base of the United States Armed Forces which is responsible for the military operations in Central and South America is located. In addition to this Miami is also the industrial center, generally in the field of development and storage of stone breeds. These productions are concentrated at East City Edge, about Doral and Hialeah. According to a census in 2004, Miami took the third place by the number of the families having income below average of poverty in the USA, having passed forward only Detroit. The first place. And El Paso. Second. Miami also one of the few cities in which the municipal government declared itself a bankrupt. In 2001. 
and still since then Miami endured revival. In 2008 it was recognized by the Forbes magazine, the cleanest city of America, for clean air, big park zones, clear drinking water, clean streets and the existing city programs for processing of wastes. In 2009 the UBS company studied 73 cities of the world and recognized Miami as the richest city of the USA. From four cities of the USA included in a research. And also Miami was included into the five of the richest cities of the world on an indicator of parity of consumer ability. Physiographic characteristic. The city of Miami and its vicinities are located on the flat area in an interval between the boggy territory Everglades and the Gulf Biscayne. Height of the city doesn't exceed 4.5 m above sea level, and on average fluctuates at the level of 0.91 m in the majority of areas, especially near the coast. The main territory of the city is or on the coast of the Gulf, or on natural or artificial barrier islands in the Gulf, on the biggest of which there is a town of Miami Beach. The warm ocean Gulf Stream current flows in only 24 kilometers from the coast of Miami that is its climate warm and soft. The geological basis of the territory of Miami is made by lithic limestone. From above and there is thin, no more than 15 m thick, a layer of earth. Limestone was created in connection with large changes of a landscape of the shelf glaciers at the time of Ice Age. At the time of Eight Sangamanov of the interglacial period card years ago, water level was in this place about 7.5 m above flowing and all southern part of Florida represented the shallow sea. Several parallel coral reefs were stretched from modern Miami to Island Strait Tortugas. At the end of the archipelago of Florida Keys. In an interval between reefs and the land, the big lagoon in which a lights and sinks a manic began to be laid was formed. Card years ago as a result of the Wisconsin frosting water level in the region began to go down, and the former seabed appeared on a surface. 15000 years ago sea level became about 100 m lower than now. After that water began to rise gradually again, and modern water level was recorded 40 hundred years ago. Underground the aquifer, the natural underground river stretched from the district Palm Beach. To the Gulf Biscayne is located. Most closer he approaches the Earth's surface near the cities of Miami Springs and Hialeah. The majority of drinking water near Miami arrives from this source. Because of presence of the water horizon any earthwork at a depth over 4.57 m is impossible without preliminary preparation of soil. Many western districts of Miami reached the southeast extremity of the subtropical marshland Everglades that creates problems for local wild animals, such as alligators and crocodiles who can get out to high-speed highways or to places of life of people. Across the occupied territory of Miami is one of the smallest large towns of the USA. According to Bureau of a Census of the USA, the square of the city makes 143.15 came. From them only 92.68 came. Create the land, the rest is made by water. On the area, the territory of Miami is slightly less than territory of San Francisco or Boston. Climate in Miami Tropical Monsoonal With the hot and damp summer periods and short, warm winters, with accurately expressed drought season in the winter. The height of the city above sea level, the coastal arrangement, stay directly along the line of the tropical center and also proximity of Gulf Stream are the main defining factors of climate of Miami. 
and January average temperature is 19.6 C, wind usually soft and warm. Cold air usually appears after passing of a cold cyclone which brings also a set of short-term heavy rains. Sometimes there are falls of temperature up to 10 C, and is only very rare, up to 2 C, extremely seldom there are frosts. The most high temperature usually keeps around 21, 25 C. The rainy season begins in May and comes to an end in the middle of October. During this period temperature fluctuates within 29, 35 C, is followed by big humidity though the heat is usually facilitated by afternoon thunderstorms or the sea breeze coming from the Atlantic Ocean which allows temperature to fall down, but air all the same remains very stuffy. The majority of annual rainfall, 1.42 ohm, drops out during this period. The most extreme temperatures were registered on February 3, 1917. 2. 8C. And on July 21, 1940. 38C. Snow in Miami is very unusual occurrence, and the snow squall which flew on January 19, 1977 was only once registered. The tropical season usually lasts from June 1 to November 30. The most probable time of arrival of a hurricane to Miami coincides with a season of Cape Verde which lasts from the middle of August until the end of September. Also a tornado, quite typical phenomenon for the District of Miami. In Miami the tornado appeared twice, in 1925 and in 1997. Miami is divided into a set of areas, and if to unite them in groups, then it is possible to allocate the northern part, southern, western and central. The heart of the city is the central part of Miami, though geographically it is located on east side of the city. This area is included by Brickell, Virginia Key, Watson Island and the Port of Miami. The center of Miami, the central business district of the southern Florida and also it is the biggest and influential business region of all Florida. In the central region the highest concentration of the international banks in the USA which is generally located on Brickell Avenue. In the center of Miami the main big banks, courts, the central offices of many companies, cultural and tourist attractions, schools, parks and also spacious residential quarters are also located. Slightly to the north of the central region there is an administrative center of Miami in which the set of hospitals and research institutes of biotechnology, for example Jackson Memorial Hospital, Miami Eugenia Hospital, and University of Miami's Leonard M. is located. Miller School of Medicine in the east of the central district, through the Gulf Biscayne, there is the well-known Southern Miami Beach Beach. In the Gulf on the Big Island, the port and also small bulk inhabited Venetian Islands is located. The southern part of Miami includes Coral Uy, Rouds and Coconut Grove areas. Coral Uy, the historic residential area founded in 1922 and connecting the center of Miami and Coral Gables. In this area a set of old houses and the streets seated by trees. Coconut Grove is founded in 1825 and in it Miami a city hall in Dinner Key, Drama Theater Coconut Grove, of Cockawalk, a set of nightclubs, bars, restaurants and bohemian shops therefore he is very popular among local university students is located. It is the historic district with narrow, twisting streets and crowns towering over them.
In Coconut Grove the set of gardens and parks, such as Villa Vizcaya, the Campong, the Barnacle Historic State Park and also in it is located Coconut Grove Convention Center, a great number of the most prestigious in the USA of private schools, historical houses and constructions. The western part of Miami includes Small Havana, West Flagler and Flagami, and is a location of many traditional immigrant areas. Though in at one time it there was generally Jewish area, today the western part of Miami, the house for many immigrants, generally from Central America and Cuba while the west central region of Alapata is multinational community of natives of many countries. Northern part of Miami includes Midtown, area with big mix of distinctions and a set of West Indians, Spaniards, European Americans, Bajamist and actors. Edgewater and Wynwood are district, the regions of Midtown which are generally consisting of high-rise houses and in which Adrienne Arsht Center for the Performing Arts is located. The richest citizens usually live in a northeast part in Midtown Design District and in Upper East Side, the area in which those someone looked for houses of architecture of the 1920th years and also Miami Modern Architecture District in which houses are built in style of the 1950th years. Lip. A northern part of Miami is also remarkable Afro-American and Caribbean immigrant communities, such as small Haiti, Overtown, in which Lyric Theater is located, and Liberty City. Demography According to a population census of 2010, 399,457 people live in Miami, for the last 10 years the population increased by 10.2%. 72.6% from them, white, including 60.7% white Spanish speaking. 70% of the population, Latin Americans, generally Cubans, are also the refugees from Central America running from wars in the 1980s. Hondurans, Nicaraguans, Salvadorans. 19.2% the Afro-Americans, 1% Asians make, 0.3% Indians. The remain 6.8% represent other people or have the mixed origin. Only 12% white aren't Spanish speaking, their number grows recently. In 2066.75% of inhabitants called the native language Spanish, 5. 2% Haitian. English is native only for 25.45% of the population of Miami that is one of the lowest indicators in Shaw. Public schools in Miami Cope Miami-Dade County Public Schools which is the biggest school district in Florida and the fourth largest in all the USA. As of September 2008 in it, students study in more than 392 schools and education centers are located. This district also is the biggest in the USA on concentration of students of other nationality in which 60% of students of the Latin American and Caribbean origin, 28% of the Afro-Americans are West Indian American, 10% white. Not Latin American and 2% of other nationalities. In Miami some best schools of the USA, for example, Design and Architecture High School recognized by the best federal magnet school, Mast Academy, Coral Reef High School which entered in 22 the best public schools of the USA, Miami Palmetto High School, and New World School of the Arts are located. MTCAPCS also one of the few public school districts in the USA in which offer bilingual training at Spanish, Creole, Haiti, a Chinese, private schools. In Miami is several prestigious Catholic, Jewish and also not relating to any faith private schools. The Metropolitan Aid of Miami manages city Catholic private schools which are among Street. 
U Catholic School Street. Agatha Catholic School Street. Teresa School, Immaculata LaSalle High School, Our Lady of Lords Academy, Monsignor Edward Pace High School, Carrollton School of the Sacred Heart, Archbishop Curly Notre Dame High School, Street. Brandon High School and also set of other elementary schools and universities. Catholic preparatory schools only for boys are presented to Miami to Christopher Columbus High School and Ballon Jesuit Preparatory School. They are one of the best Catholic schools in the country. The private schools which aren't relating to any faith in Miami is Ransom Everglades, Palmer Trinity School, Pelliver Preparatory School, and Miami Country Day School. Other schools in the remote places from the city include Samuel Sheck Hillel Community Day School, Tate Christian School, and Westminster Christian School. Colleges and Universities Founded in 1925, the University of Miami, the oldest college in Florida to the south of Winter Park. Colleges and the universities in Miami and its vicinities. Barry's University. Private. University Carlos Albizu. Private. Florida International University. Public. Memorial University of Florida. Private. Johnson's University in Wales. Private. Kayseri University. Private. Manchester Business School. Branch. The English Public. Culinary Institute of Miami. Public. Miami Deep College. Public. International University of Art and Design of Miami. Private. The Southeast University, it is new. Private. St. Thomas's University. Florida. Private. Talmudical University. Private. University of Miami. Private. Among residents of Miami at the age of 25 years, 67% or also more senior have the diploma of the termination of high school. And 22% have a bachelor's degree or above. In 2011, Miami was recognized as the sixth among the most reading cities in the USA because of high sales level of books. In Miami, there are also both commercial and non-profit organizations which offer the range of services on vocational education and other programs connected with education. For Sholas, for example, non-profit organization which offers the free professional certified training directed to successful delivery of CompTIA and the network certified examinations as a way to preservation of work and creation of career. Sport To Miami play six professional teams Florida Panthers The professional ice hockey team, the member of the National Hockey League, play in the Bank Atlantic Center Miami Marlins The professional baseball team, the member of Major League Baseball, play on Sunlay Stadium Miami Dolphins The professional soccer team, the member of National Football League, play on Sanley Stadium. Earlier Miami Orange Bowl was the home arena. Miami Heat The professional basketball team, the member of the National Basketball Association, play on American Airlines the arena. Miami Sol L Professional basketball team, the member of Women's National Basketball Association. FE Miami. 
the professional soccer team, the member of North American Football League. Also in Miami, the tennis tournament of Miami Masters, including a men's tournament of the ATP Masters 1000 Series and a women's tournament of the Way Premier Mandatory Series is held. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.